versus bonus and today's video is all about the 12th video of Kaleidos. Right? And today's note is all about the capon. What is capon? I have explained all in detail, right? So let's start the session. So let's start sunny side up. Style of fried egg that's cooked slowly without flipping until the white is completely set but the yolk is still firm and yellow. Clear? Sunny side up means cracking the egg in the pan, right? And after slowly, gradually, the white will start cooking up. And without flipping, right? Without flipping, we have to cook the whole egg. And the, and the yolk will be a little runny. That is all about the sunny side up. Clear with this? This is the next. The melee. The liver of a lobster or some other selfish, right? Lobster's liver or other selfish, known as the melee. Clear? Sturzel. Sturzel. The pronunciation of this is Sturzel. A crumbly topping for baked goods which is like consisting of a fat, sugar and the flour which is rubbed together and make a crumb. Clear? It's about the crumb. So this is a crumbly, right? A crumbly topping that we do in baking. Sturzel. Clear? Soft shell crab. A just molted crab whose new shell has not yet hardened. This term itself clearly shows that soft, soft shell crab means the shell which is still soft, which is not yet hardened. And when it comes to crab, clear? This is the next is udon. Thick white Japanese noodles made from the wheat flour. Those are udon. Next, tapa. Any of a variety of a Spanish style appetizer intended to be served with wine or other drinks, right? Spanish appetizer, then Spanish style appetizer, which is served with wine or other drinks, those are known as papa. Clear? All about Spanish appetizer, right? With the drinks. This is the next. Next, we have trip. The muscle stomach lining of a beef or other meat animal, right? The muscle stomach lining of a beef or any other meat. And this is all about trap. Clear? So that particular muscle, stomach muscles, clear? Which is a lining of a beef or any other meat. The muscles lining up, right? That is what all about trap. Let's see today's note is capon. What is capon? I will explain you everything in detail, right? Here we go. Larger than a chicken and smaller than a turkey, but more flavorful from the both. Means turkey and chicken. Clear? So capon is uh, like a little bit bigger than chicken, but not much more bigger than turkey. And that is like more flavorful either. Clear? Capons are full breasted with tender, juicy, flavorful meat that is well suited to roasting. So this is the method, like the cooking method. Let me just write it here. Cooking method. For the capon, generally they uh, go for the roasting process because it's damn juicy, which will keep a maximum juicy and retain the flavor, right? And this is a cooking method which is uh, suitable for the capon. Clear? Have a higher fat content. Check it out. This higher fat content when it comes to capon, but how? How are we getting a higher fat content? Let's figure it out. A capon has been castered either physically or chemically. You can see here. To improve the quality of its flesh for food. See, can you see? Castered. You know what it casted? I have already explained all the cuts of meat. Like beef, poultry, lamb, pork. Everything I have already explained, right? Just go through my playlist in YouTube. You can easily figure it out. Lots of chapters already have cleared, right? So in that I have explained about the casted. Casted means removing the sexual area, right? Casted means destroying like physically or chemically the reproduction area, right? Means the sexual part before reaching the sexual maturity. Means sexual maturity before that they just destroyed with physically or chemically. Clear? That is all about casted. Because of destroying that, which improves the quality of the meat. How? I'll explain you here. These two are the different points. Let me explain you this. Fed a rich diet of milk and porridge, the food, or generally they are given to capon. 
Capon were once considered as a luxury and during the early 20th centuries. In early 20th centuries, the capon was comes under a luxury poultry, right? Where people generally go for the capon in, uh, especially in the Christmas time, right? They make capon. But nowadays, turkey, more of turkey. The absence of a sex hormone caused the difference in the taste and texture. You can see, just because of destroying the sex hormones is also giving a different taste and texture. Clear? Due to the lack of hormones also allows more fat to form. You getting me? This is what I have said before, like high in fat, but how? This is the reason, right? Lack of the hormone also allows more fat to form on the bird muscles, making them tender and buttery. Clear with this? This is why we're getting more fat because of the removing, right? Larger tender roasting poultry made by castoring young roasters. So this is all about the capo means today's note, right? I hope you guys clear with the, all the culinary terms and as well as the note which is all about the capo, right? So I'll see you in the next next informative video with the culinary terms. Till then, culinary terms, right? <laughs> bye bye.